What's up guys? Uh, okay, so there was a huge error that made the game basically unplayable. Uh, GTA 5 and uh, Max Payne 3, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it was basically a D3D error. Um, I'm, I, I wasn't exactly sure what that meant, but it obviously had to do with DirectX. And it just basically enabled or disabled the game from being played. Uh, and that was a really big problem, especially for people who pre-ordered it, or are just buying it now because, um, it obviously uh, causes your game to not be able to be played. So, I posted a video on it, and I got a lot of responses, and I'm so thankful for all you people who tried to help me and help everybody else who's having this issue. Um, it, it's really... It's, it's, I'm just really appreciative, because without, this person right here, CP777, seven, 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 or 771, I'm sorry, um, I wouldn't have gotten my game fixed. I, I absolutely did not think about deleting D3D gear, um, that actually is what fixed my game. Uh, if you have D3D gear, uh, delete it, just uninstall it, and everything should run perfectly fine. You should you should know how to how to delete D3D gear. Just in case you don't, go to uh, go to your start menu, go to all programs. If this thing will load, sorry, I need a new processor. So, and then you basically scroll down until you see D3D gear, which should be somewhere up here in the D group, obviously. And just click on it, and then press uninstall D3D gear, and you should be good to go. Um. Alright, and the next thing that I saw that could actually work, um, I didn't actually try this, but it, it could work, is this, it's basically installing the, um, trial, not really trial, it's, uh, the, I guess, preview version of Windows 10. You can get it from here. Uh, I will send, or I will post the, uh, link to this, uh, in the description. Uh, so see if that'll work for you guys if you don't have D3D gear or if it just, you know, well, no, if you don't have D3D gear and it's not working, this will probably be the solution that'll work for you. Um, updating your DirectX, if you haven't tried that, try that. Um, I know I tried it multiple times. The chances are you have too, but just try it anyway. See, you know, see what happens if both of those other solutions don't work. Um, also make sure that your graphics card is compatible with DirectX 11 or 10, because if it's not, you will not be able to play the game. That's, that's just that. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that's, those are the two solutions, or I guess three technically, that I saw that can, uh, really help. There's also a YouTube video that will work if you have Intel and AMD graphics, um, so that... Uh, that means, like, if you have an Intel processor and an AMD graphics card. Okay, so, I have not necessarily watched this entire video on my own because I don't have an Intel processor, but if you do, I will leave this video link in the description, and you can check that out. It's going to give you crappy quality, apparently, from the game, but at least it'll work. That's, <laughs> that's what I, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It's better to be able to play the game and have it at crappy quality than not being able to play the game at all, you know. So I'm actually almost positive. Yeah, that's those are the only er um, fixes that were posted on my video. Uh, as I said before, I'd like to thank those people who actually posted on the video and tried to help me. So once again, those people were CP771, Pacha South, XIZ, Die. ZIX. Also, loan out DB. Um, thank you for all of you guys. I honestly couldn't have fixed my game without you. Um, I guess I'll post a video on GTA later just to show you A, that the game is working, and B, that I don't know. I, I just feel like posting a video on GTA. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys once again for helping me, and I. Wish the best of luck for anybody else who's having this problem. Um, 
that's about it. Thank you for watching. Good luck.